welcome back to my channel. So today's makeup tutorial is on this look right here. Obviously it's spring and I just really like the glowish skin type of look. So that's what I did for you guys again today. I used a couple new Milani products. Um, so I'm excited about that. And then, yeah, so I just paired it with like a brownish lip thing. Um, anyway, if you guys want to see how to get this look, just keep on watching. You guys know that I've been loving the Stila One Step Correct as a primer. And um, as you can see, I'm like totally, totally out. So I did pick up, I've heard, um, well, I don't know if I've heard anything about this, but this is the Maybelline Master Prime. And this is the Blur Plus Redness Control. Um, and it's like a 300, it's the green one. Um, and this one, the Stella One Step Correct is um, skin tone correcting and brightening serum. So it had like the green, the purple, um, the orangey color, and they're all like mixed together, um, which like help blur out imperfections, help with redness. This one's mostly just, this one however, is mostly just for um, blur and redness control. So I wanted to give it a try just because it's kind of, it's a little bit like my Stila One Step Correct and I've been loving that one. So we're going to go ahead and, or I'm going to go ahead and use this and apply it to my face. It's not as um, hydrating as the Stila One Step Correct one is, um, but it is pretty liquidy um, and smooth, so it's actually pretty nice texture. We'll definitely see how it holds up for the, or how it holds up for the rest of the day with the makeup and how well my makeup lasts. Now that we've got the base down, I'm going to go in with my NARS Sheer Glow Foundation again in Light 4, Duville. I don't know why it has two names. I don't know why they did that, but anyway. Today I'm going to be using the Tarte um, brush or like the Kabuki brush to blend out my foundation and what I really like about this brush is that it's super dense and big so if you like a sheer more like a sheer coverage um, not full coverage this really um, makes it sheer and it blends out your foundation really quickly so I've really been um, liking this brush too especially on days when I don't have time where I'm just like okay I need to like blend everything out um, and I forgot about this brush but I really really love it Moving on to concealer, I'm going to be using the Maybelline New York Concealer in the shade Fair. Um, this is the Fit Me ones. So, we're just going to apply this. This concealer is really nice. If you guys haven't used it before, it's pretty, it's very, very creamy. Um, and just very easy to use and blend I'm just gonna use my beauty blender to blend all this out To set my face, I'm going to use, or my under eye and my face, I'm just going to use these two colors right here from the Shade and Light palette. And you guys know these, the Lyric and Levitation. I've been using them for quite some time now. And I think I'm just going to use Lyric to actually set the rest of my face as well. Just because I don't want to use another palette.
For brows, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in dark brown. Now I'm just going to set my hairs in place using the Ardell Brow Sculpting Gel. For bronzer, I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion in the shade Bronzer. I don't know. I think, I don't know if that's the name, Pro Bronze Fusion. I'm not sure. Um, but it's like the a little bit the darker shade or like for the darker skin tone types. So I'm just going to dust this over my cheeks just to um, bronze up a little bit. contour a tiny bit. I'm going to be using the Hoola uh, Benefit bronzer or yeah, bronzer sculpting. I don't know. I'm just going to chisel out my cheeks a tiny bit with this. For blush, I'm be using this Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso. I'm going to dust this on my cheeks a tiny bit, not, not overboard or not too heavy. For highlight, I'm going to be using the Josie Marin Argan Enlightenment Illuminating Veal. It's such a long freaking name. Um, but I'm going to use this to highlight my face. For the eyes, I'm using this Milani palette. This is the eyeshadow um, colors, and this one is an Everyday Eyes eyeshadow collection. So um, they have multiple of these with like different colors, but I thought these were really, really pretty for the springtime. So, and this is my first time using it, so we'll see how pigmented these eyeshadows are. So first off, I'm going to go in with this color right here for the crease and transition color. The next color I'm going to go in with is this like orangey color, a little bit lower than our crease, kind of like um, towards our lid area. For our lid color, I'm going to go with this one. It's kind of like a goldish brown. Really, really pretty. Now I'm just going in with a clean brush and just going to kind of blend out the edges so I don't have any harsh lines. For the brow bone, I'm going to go in with that color right there, kind of like a champagne-y um, sparkly color. For the inner corner highlight, I'm going to be using this color right here. For the waterline, I'm going to be using um, MAC Eye Coal in Teddy. Um, just like a brownie color. 
Um, it's also like has a little bit of like gold flecks. So it really um, would match this color that we have on the lid here. And what do you know, telescopic for the lashes, nothing new here. <laughs> For bottom lashes, I'm actually going to go in with this. This is the Revlon Ultra Volume. And because it's a little bit more of like a dry consistency, I feel like it's really good for the bottom lashes because it doesn't crumble or um, transfer. So I'm also going to be applying false lashes. And I have two types of pairs. They're the Ardell ones. And I'm using the singles, so these are like the double flares. They're going to give me a little bit more thickness. And then these are just like the thinner, but they're long. Alright guys, so I actually applied my lashes off camera because they're individuals. And I feel like they just take so, so long. But I'll just zoom you guys in so you can kind of see what I did. See, So they're thicker and definitely longer. I think it's really really pretty I love the combination just because it adds the fullness to your lashes and then the length which is awesome so um, I went ahead and did that off camera all right so now I'm just gonna go ahead and apply the final thing which is lips and I'm just gonna add a little bit of this baby lips rescue doctor rescue balm Tiny bit and then I'm just kind of rub it into my lips. So I'm gonna go in with MAC lip pencil in Whirl. I'm just gonna line my lips a little bit. And then I'm gonna go in with the lipstick. This is real, just the lipstick portion. <laughs> Alrighty, so this completes the finished makeup tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed this look. And I quickly want to mention this Milani eyeshadow palette. Um, the pigmentation is really nice, first of all. Second of all, I was really surprised that for the price and it being a drugstore product, I didn't get any fallout whatsoever. I also think that these are really good travel size um, eyeshadow packaging type of thing. Like if you're going on vacation and you just want to do like um, more bright or more neutral colors, you can just take one palette. Um, the other one that I saw had like a blue, it was like focused on bluer shades. Um, so definitely thumbs up for this product and if you haven't gotten it yet, go your go out and buy yourself one from the drugstore because for the pricing it's just it's really a win so go get it and um yeah i hope you guys have a great rest of the day whatever you guys are doing and i will see you in my next video bye i'm ignoring all the signs i keep on fronting yeah i stay bluffing i keep you on